Here's what we have on tap for you tonight. Multiple injuries following a huge accident this morning in Crawford County. We'll give you the latest. The city of Joplin is now looking for a new city attorney. My Brian Head has decided to step down. We'll take you to Nevada, where youngsters got to hear motivational words from a quadruple amputee. We'll also explain the Roar Fund at Missouri Southern. Why not all students are willing to give it a vote of confidence or approval. And camels at Missouri Southern. Because every university campus has camels at some point, right? Hey, we have rain chances in the forecast. Doug has details on that. Dan Hawk has your sports. This is Fox 14 News at 9. It starts right now. All right, Doug's coming right back to break things down for Easter weekend and later in sports, Southern's basketball lines getting some love from a hometown standout. I'll give you details on that in 35 minutes. Here's what we have on tap for you tonight. The latest on the economic front out of Joplin. Some of what was reported to city council members tonight also. Tonight, the Joplin City Council will vote on an agreement regarding a new location for Crossline Services. I'm Kaylee Doherty. More details coming up next. The Galena City Council meeting draws quite a crowd. I'm Stacy Lindsay, and I'll have details for you coming up. And recognizing 15 years of helping to make you stuff new stuff. Well, explain. Doug will tell us just how cold, cold it'll get this weekend. Hawk has your sports. This is Fox 14 News at 9. It starts right now. Thirty more minutes for local news, weather, and sports still to come tonight. It's off to the Sooner State in our next half hour. The latest on the proposed hoodie law. Also, what Joplin City Council members decided tonight involving a couple of projects that are on the table, one of which a new skate park in town. Later in the show, we'll put the focus on drones, what the FAA has to say about the devices that are growing in popularity among consumers. But first... More violence in Afghanistan today, but is it enough to make the U.S. reconsider its troop withdrawal? I'm Jennifer Griffin at the Pentagon. The details coming up. The local news, weather and sports still on the way tonight. When we come back, honoring years of service and dedication in Newton County also. Governor Brownback signs a bill that requires some health coverage for autism. We speak to one resident this may affect. Later in the show, it's a new FX series, one based on a 1996 Oscar winning movie. We'll take a look at Fargo, but first. A massive security ramp up now underway for next week's Boston Marathon. I'm Molly Line in Boston and I'll have more on that coming up. Here's what we have on tap for you tonight, where the city of Joplin is when it comes to finding a new city manager. A southeast Kansas man and his stepson are severely burned following a backyard accident this afternoon. The latest on their conditions. Something new on the way for Cotty College in Nevada. We'll take you to today's special groundbreaking ceremony. And the four state dental office that was all about helping others for free on this Good Friday. Doug will break down our rain chances for the weekend. Buddy, I know you're keeping track of that. 30 more minutes of local news, weather, sports still to come tonight. Why a casino in southeast Kansas has become more affordable. We'll have the latest out of Kansas City after highway shootings left three people injured also. Five new businesses come to downtown Joplin in the past month, and four more are on the way. I'm Kaylee Doherty. More details coming up next. Later in the show, we'll give you a preview of the new movies that are in theaters right now. But first, new concerns over privacy as you sit behind the wheel. I'm Casey Stegall. Coming up next, I'll tell you how license plate recognition software is making its way into the private sector now. Here's what we have on tap for you tonight. Volunteers continue to help the residents of Baxter Springs and Quapaw. We'll have the latest from both communities, which includes... Double devastation. That's what one family says after their home was taken down before they could salvage any items. I'm Rudy Harper. That story coming up. And on your side tonight, protection versus privacy when it comes to home security cameras. Doug's talking about a warm-up on the way. Jake Faber has your sports.